Welcome to Part 3 of the Guided Tour Series. In this section, you will get a feel for the core tool. We will launch core, import a data file, look at the basic core windows, and export data from core. In this section, we will use a sample database for the Autolink system to provide an overview of core and its features. This diagram provides a high-level view of the system we will use throughout this guided tour. You may find it helpful to refer back to this diagram as you build the system structure. It is found on page 5 of the Guided Tour document. The Autolink system provides emergency support for the driver and passengers of an Autolink-equipped motor vehicle. The system uses GPS to provide current navigation and vehicle location information to the occupants. In the event of an accident, Autolink automatically contacts Autolink's customer support via cellular communications to request roadside emergency help. Customer support transmits vehicle location information received from the Autolink vehicle unit to appropriate emergency response support. Once you have installed Core 7, it can be launched from the Start menu. Click Start, All Programs. Open the Core 7 folder and click on the empty repository icon. When prompted for a password, enter the word admin in all lowercase letters and click login. When you have opened Core, the Project Explorer window will open to the home screen. When you open a Core repository, you are logged into a Core database structure made up of one or more projects. A core repository file can contain multiple projects with each project containing its own set of data, referred to as the system design repository. Therefore, when you open a core repository file, you must select a project to work in. You can select an existing project or create a new project either directly by selecting new project and entering a project name or indirectly by importing an existing project. We will use the Autolink system sample project that was created in Core and then exported to the Core Samples directory. In general, this import-export capability of Core allows you to transfer a Core project from one computer to another or make a backup copy of the data. In this guided tour series, you will learn to use Core by going through the steps to build this same sample problem yourself. From the Project Explorer, select File, Import. In the Import dialog, navigate to the Core 7 slash data slash samples folder. Select the file named Autolink Guided Tour.xml and click Open. Next, the XML import wizard will appear, allowing you to control the import. In Step 1, click Next since our XML file contains only one project. In Step 2, click Next since we want to create a new project rather than importing into an existing project. In Step 3, click Import to begin the import. A dialog will indicate when the import is complete. Click OK. After the database import finishes, the Core Design Repository contains the Autolink system model. We will now open the newly created project. Select Open Project in the Project Explorer and double-click Sample Autolink System from the list of projects. Note that the title of our Project Explorer window now includes the name of the project. The Project Explorer provides quick access to information contained in the System Design Repository for a particular project. Context-sensitive toolbars provide icons to access frequently used commands. The Project pane, visible on the left, lists the classes and folders in the System Design Repository. In the Project Explorer, you can view the structure of the data, create new elements, and update elements. Selecting one of the classes or folders in the Project pane displays all of that folder's elements in the Elements pane within the Element Browser.
A TAN folder preceding the class name in the project pane indicates that at least one element of that class has been defined. The numbers in parentheses indicate how many elements have been defined for that folder and how many total elements in that folder and all subfolders. Select Function in the project pane. Next, select the function named Alert Customer Support in the Elements pane. The property sheet for the function will be displayed. Notice that the toolbar now displays an icon for each view that can be displayed for a function and that the view tabs display the same icons. A property sheet provides the complete definition of a given element in the System Design Repository by displaying all the attribute values and relationships. You can use the property sheet view corresponding to any element to view, add, or make changes to the attributes and relationships of the displayed element. The list of attributes and relationships differs depending on the class of the element displayed. Here, we are looking at an element of the class named function, so only those attributes and relationships that pertain to functions are displayed. You can open the property sheet as a separate window by double-clicking on the element name in the Elements pane. The attributes and their values are displayed in the upper portion of the sheet. The relationships and targets that complete the element definition are displayed in the lower portion of the window. The most frequently used attributes are shown on the Main Attributes tab. Additional detail can be specified on the Secondary tab. Scroll through the list of possible relationships. A folder in front of a relationship indicates that a target has been established for the relationship. Click on Allocated To. The toggle icon in front of the target list indicates that the relationship has an attribute. Use the toggle to collapse or expand the list. Close the Property Sheet window. In the Project Explorer, you can directly access the many views of your element via either View Tabs or View Icons. Using the View tab opens the view within the Element Browser. To create more room for a tabbed view, you can hide the project or element panes by using the Hide Show Project Pane icon and Hide Show Element Pane icon. Clicking the View icon on the toolbar opens the view in a separate window. Click on the ER tab. This is an Entity Relationship Diagram. This diagram graphically depicts the relationships that have been established between the subject element and other element in the System Design Repository. The element and its relationship targets are represented as icons linked by lines labeled with the relationship. All diagram views have a diagram elements pane that displays beneath the diagram and can be shown or hidden using the diagram elements table icon. The Diagram Elements pane is available to show selected attribute and relationship information about the elements in the diagram. The information is grouped by class and can be displayed in tabular form by using the toggle icon in front of the class name. As with all information in all views, the attributes and relationships are directly editable. In addition to the Element Browser, Core has an element table view that allows you to view, update, and add elements of a class in a spreadsheet-like presentation. The element table operates much the same way as Microsoft Excel. You can enter your information, reorder your columns, sort your data, and resize as desired. Select the requirement class in the project pane. On the toolbar, click the element table icon. This will switch the Explorer display from the Element Browser to the Element Table View. Scroll through the rows and columns to become familiar with the layout of the Element Table window. The attributes and relationships automatically displayed for each class have been predefined. However, you can adjust this. Right-click anywhere in the table and select Edit Columns. Here, you can select which attributes and relationships are displayed and determine the order of the columns.
Any changes made here will also apply to the Diagram Elements pane of the Diagram Views that we looked at a moment ago. Vitek uses XML as the primary format for all project-specific data files. This provides single file storage for all project data, multiple projects, schema, stored views, sort, hierarchy, filters, and more. Core project data imported and export using XML will have a .xml file extension. To save your core data to an XML file, click File, Export. The Export Project dialog will open. Click OK since we will use the default settings to export the entire project. The suggested name for the project being exported is Autolink System and the suggested folder is the Core7 slash data folder. The file name can be changed in this Save File dialog. Enter your preferred project name and location and click Save. Now that you have seen how to import a database and view data, in the next section we will see how to build a core model. Let's start with an empty project. From the Project Explorer menu, select Project, Erase, Database. Answer yes to the warning message. As you build this model, you will want to save your work as you progress. In addition to saving your core data as we just did, you can save your core repository file by selecting File, Save Repository As. A core repository file contains a copy of the core tool with all the projects and their schemas and data. Saving a core repository file is the fastest way to save your work, but creates the largest data file. Exporting your data is more appropriate if you are creating a backup or are exchanging data with another user. This concludes Part 3 of the Guided Tour. Part 4 will address starting a new project and extracting requirements. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Email me at support at vitechcorp.com.